Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for July 26th through August 1st. It is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, guys, definitely check out your other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. Okay, so we're going to get into your near future, or I'm sorry, your current energy, then the near future, and take a peek into the next three to six months. Once we clarify that, we will clear that spread, get into your person's energy, your energy, the possible outcome, the Romance Angels and Oracle cards. All right, so I do do personal readings. If you'd like one of those, the information is in the description box below. And I want to say a big, huge thank you for all of your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. I love all of you very much for all of your support. Um, if you are new here, I hope you'll stay. All right, so let's get into your energy. I'm going to cut this one more time. This is for Scorpio. All right. Ooh, right off the bat. Big change. Okay. Your card right there with the Tower, the Ten of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. And then we have in the near future, the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Strength card in the middle, and the what is going on? And the Nine of Swords. You guys, this is a tough, tough, tough read. Um, Ace of Swords in reverse in the next three to six months with the Lovers in reverse and the Five of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles is the overall energy. To me, because of what I'm seeing laid out in the spread, this could be very much about finding your balance again. So something may have thrown you. Uh, I'm picking up on quite a bit of current, like, not necessarily upheaval, but change. A lot of big change. And it doesn't mean that it's going to be bad, but with the Ten of Swords, I feel like there's been some betrayals. This is you standing strong in your stability. In other words, you're not going to let any of this stuff rock you. No matter what, you're going to still look pretty no matter how this turns out. So let's just get into your energy and see what's going on. So with the tower, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. I have Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus as well. This is letting things fall apart that don't feel good to you anymore. If something isn't working out and you found out about a betrayal, um, just feeling abandoned is what it I sense. After putting so much effort and waiting for things to move forward, if it doesn't feel right anymore, the universe is coming in to wipe it away. So you could be going through that over this next full moon. You're the first sign that this has come up for, where there may be a lot of clearing out. This could just be up to the roof, like with BS and dealing with people who have done these types of things. I do feel it's you kind of crashing things down and letting them fall and where the pieces go, they go. That's what I feel like. You've waited. You've been patient. If things aren't going to move forward, if this isn't a relationship, um, then I think you're okay to let things fall apart. That, that doesn't sound right, does it? But it sometimes people are. They're just done. It's like, I've had enough of the hurt and the pain. I just can't keep going with this. I've had so much patience. I've waited for things to go in the right direction. If it has to fall apart, it has to fall apart. So for some of you, that's actually happening. Now, this could also be a work situation. I feel very much so that you've been patient, sitting back. We've talked about this a few times in your readings. Like, I've watched this grow and grow and grow. Is it going to come to that place where it finally feels right? I sense that there's some betrayal that you feel around your work situation. Something could have just recently exploded. And I'm going to say exploded because in this case, I feel that something had to come in and really shake and move you in order for you to move forward. And it doesn't mean leaving everything that you've worked on behind. Not necessarily. It could just be that there needs to be a big shift that you make. So let's see what we get for clarifiers. Um, and that'll tell us a little bit more. Now, in the near future, the Knight of Wands, the Strength card, and the Nine of Swords. So you may be feeling like you're held back. Like you're trying to fight through the pain and the frustration. And yes, it could be very exhausting, you know, the losing of sleep. But you're maintaining your strength, which I love. You could be dealing with a Leo energy um, as well as Aries and Sag are both coming up. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. So is it causing a little bit of restlessness? I do think so. 
I think you're being asked to hold back for a moment and don't push forward too too quickly. The Knight of Wands in reverse is someone who's not feeling really stable about what it is that he wants. It, are your passions still in line with what you want moving forward? Do you still feel like you want to work on this relationship if that's what it is for you? I think you just need to focus on regaining your strength. It seems as though this has worn you out a bit. Um, obviously, if you're losing sleep over that, we'll get some clarifiers and see what else there is. Now, in the next three to six months, the Ace of Swords, the Lovers in Reverse, and the Five of Wands. This could just be you needing to do some internal stuff. Maybe you just want to get away from the drama and you don't feel like dealing with relationships. Even if you're in one, you could just be backing up a little bit and saying, you know what, I need some space. Like, I don't want to talk this through over and over again. We've gotten as much clarity as we're going to get. Either this is going to come together or it's not if you're in a current relationship. Uh, if there's just too much drama and all there is is fighting, then there's a part of you that doesn't want to deal with it. Again, it could be just internal battle over. Do you want this? Do you not want it? Or do you even want a relationship if you're single? Maybe there's a part of you that just wants to focus on your independence and your money and take care of those things in your life. Now, judgment says, yes, there's some spirits intervening. In other words, if you're one of the Scorpios that needs a break, you're getting a break because there's been a lot going on. And then there'll be a new beginning coming, which is going to be a lot more stable. When you've refreshed your energy and you've gotten through some of this, what, you know, painful stuff, things are going to move forward and then the drama is going to, you know, subside and you're not going to be dealing with a lot of chaos and conflict. Um, it may take a little bit of time, but you're going to be okay. Again, I'm seeing the Leo card, so you could be dealing with a Leo. All right. Now let's clarify this tower card with the Ten of Swords. Let's see if we can get something a little more specific, but I think what we feel is pretty clear. All right, so yeah, lovers in reverse on the bottom. There's the Emperor card. So you could have been dealing with somebody who, in the Hierophant, wow. And then the lovers in reverse. So you may have tried to maintain not control in a negative way, but like control of yourself within the situation. I think a part of you um, realized that there was some kind of intervention. In other words, whether it be the universe, God, spirit, whatever, was intervening and saying, you know, you've got to hold yourself together and be strong. So you can't let anything or anyone rock that right now. As hard as this situation may have been for you, I think you understand that you're protected. Um, with the lovers in reverse, again, this is Taking back your power is what I feel like in, in relationships in general. It doesn't have to necessarily be a love, but with the lovers, I'd say, yeah. If it were the two of cups, I'd say it could be more about partnership. In this case, I do feel it's sort of trusting that what's meant to be will be. And you're just going to take control of your own life and not focus on that. Now, there, you know, the Five of Pentacles says somebody was left out in the cold. Now, you may have felt like you needed to walk away from this situation in the past or just recently, this could have just happened within the last like couple of weeks, in order to regain your sanity is what I heard. And the justice came out and says, because you're balancing things out in your life, look how beautiful she is. So male or female, doesn't matter, you're finding that balance within, taking back control of your life, trusting that spirit's got your back, and walking away from any kind of relationship that just doesn't feel good anymore. If somebody's betrayed you and you've just recently found out, you're going to find your balance again. Look at that in the King of Pentacles. Again, stable, strong, powerful, like a boss. You're a boss. You probably make good money. You're confident about that area of your life. You don't need to worry about that. And then the Ace of Wands comes in to say, whenever you're ready, this passionate new beginning will be there for you. You may not want to rush things. The Queen of Wands in reverse just tells me you're not feeling like yourself right now. You could just feel a little, they're showing me like, this is kind of gross, so sorry guys. When I get the visions, I get the visions. I can't help it. It's like a wolf, you know, swinging something back and forth. Like, you know how they, when they get their, their food, it's like you feel a little torn, if you will. Like somebody's just shook you like a rag doll. 
and the four of wands being in your head a lot but you're going to come to a place where you get out of that because you're releasing a lot of these toxic energies so if i need to go through the deck and keep going spirit's going to guide me to and then you have this brand new beginning around a work situation so either things revitalize and start fresh or you go find a new opportunity which i love and it's not going to be a difficult decision for you all right you could be strongly dealing with a capricorn virgo or taurus Gemini, Taurus again, Sagittarius. All right, so this was here. All right, let's clarify the Knight of Wands and the Strength card. So we have, good, the Ten of Wands in reverse, which means you're laying down that burden like we discussed. The Eight of Cups, already having walked away from any of these situations that have betrayed you, even ones that you've maybe have stuck with for quite some time no more you've walked away you're leaving that emotional baggage in the past and moving on uh the king of swords i feel like there was a need for some clarity but i already think you've gotten it in reverse you could have been dealing with people who didn't have integrity i mean just straight up don't tell the truth lie deceitful obviously if you're feeling betrayed so this is an energy that i feel like is in the past again but you were dealing with some people that were not so like up front all right this is for the ace of swords in reverse with the lovers in reverse now we've got the two of cups which is great because like I said you're not gonna be rushing into anything if you've become single this is waiting for that person maybe you've met somebody that you could be friends with first or you feel like sees you um, the ace of swords and then we have the world card. So closing out that other cycle is going to be necessary. But I do think that you can see that there's a possibility in the future. If you have met somebody new, this is someone you feel very seen by. In other words, they connect with you on a different level. I don't think it's going to be difficult for you, but I'm not sure with the Ace of Swords, clarifying the Ace of Swords in reverse, that you want to take a big leap right now. This says I, I really do feel like you're pulling back, even if you're currently in a relationship there's a part of you that kind of wants to hold back and get some clarity around how you're feeling because there's probably been quite a bit of arguing and fighting or drama. All right, so we're gonna clear this and get into your person's energy, your energy, the romance angels, the possible outcome and all that good stuff. All right, this is for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio and their person's energy, please. This is for Scorpio. All right, so your person. We've got the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Swords in reverse, the Six of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. For you, the Eight of Pentacles, the Sun in reverse, the Death card, there you are, and the Hermit card, Queen of Swords. So speak your truth, very much so. This needs some clarity. Somebody needs to pipe up and explain exactly how they're feeling. I feel like it's you. Maybe there's a part of you that doesn't really want to or doesn't feel like you need to at this point. Now, your person is definitely has a tremendous amount of love, but I don't think you question that. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. In this case, it's like there's, like I said, there's truth. I don't know if it was you or Gemini. Oh, no, it was Gemini. Somebody's just having difficulty, like giving you clarity i feel like they may pull back sometimes um they could be just moving on and deciding okay you know i love this person but it's not getting off the ground so if you feel like this person's moving away from you it could be because um they could just be moving away from uh situations that didn't have clarity not necessarily you it has a mixed energy i feel here and then the six of pentacles because they want something balanced as well so if for some reason they don't feel like things are balanced with you it could be because you brought up to them hey you know this doesn't feel good you may love me but i still don't have the clarity that i need and they may have just decided to you know up and bolt now in your energy we have the eight of pentacles in reverse with the sun in reverse the death card going through that transformation and going within this is about not putting your energy into other people totally 1000% focusing on you. You can't get any more clear than that with the death card and the hermit card. So there's some serious, 
how do I want to put this? Going within. I mean, that is really as simple as it gets. There needs to be a little bit more gained. In other words, figuring things out, digging deeper is going to mean going to need to happen in order for you to get through this transformation because it's a big one. Things are definitely shifting. I feel like you've made some really final decisions uh, as far as leaving these betrayals and problems and people and whatever has been creating this for you, leaving it behind. So do I see that the two of you could possibly work things out? Let's get into the romance angels. I feel like there's a sense of, you know, I just kind of want to live in my own space right now. All right. Let's see what the romance angels say. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help you bring help bring you together. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And then we have wedding. This situation involves marriage. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And then we have children. So could there be children between you? Obviously, yes. That's for a few of you. Calling in your soulmate. Um, if you feel like this is your soulmate, then there's a lot that needs to be worked on for this to move forward because I feel like this is pretty much come to an end is what it feels like to me. Now I feel like that person moved away. So you could be wanting to now call in a new soulmate and experience something new, allow your heart to and soul to sing with joy. Maybe there's a part of you that finally feels like you can find that passion within again to move forward if this has come to an end. Now, if this was a marriage and it has ended, then you're walking away from all of that deceit, that betrayal, all those things that have happened. If this happened a while ago, the energy may just be popping back up because you've been reminded of it or something may have happened that felt similar and it's in your energy field. So forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience, you experience more love in the present moment. Listen, we could go for hours talking about forgiving and learning, but we're all at a different place in our lives, in a different timeline about how to heal, how hard it is, what it feels like, when it actually happens, all of that good stuff. But we know that forgiving and learning is the greatest way to just move forward in peace. All right, now a possible outcome for this. I think we're pretty clear. Um, I do sense that your person wants balance, but right now they're not feeling that. So we have the King of Swords in reverse, Knight of Swords. Yeah, there's not a lot of communication between the two of you. Yeah. So right now I don't feel like this is moving forward because nobody's speaking or you've cut off communication, there's a lack of stability within, and then we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So I hate to say it, but I, I just don't think that this is going to move forward. All right, so now we're going to do the Lover's Oracle. I don't know if we need to, but in this case, there may be some good advice. Let's see. All right, we have if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. I think that's a beautiful message for you. Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Now, you may have felt that way with this person, but right now, it's more important for you. I want to bring this out again. If you could do anything, the answer dwells within your heart, not in your mind, for your heart is the gateway to your soul. I really like that message for you guys. Okay, last but not least, we're going to get the... Wisdom of the Oracle, messages from spirit. This is for Scorpio. Okay, this one wanted to pop out. So we have orphaned. You may feel, or that person may have abandonment issues. A change in the wind, to the sea, all that glitters, and then loyal heart. I think that just talks about you. I think you guys are such loyal hearts. You love, you love deeply. Uh, when you're done, you're done, but you do you are for sure loyal to this to a person your partner whoever you're with at the time so this is for um i can't talk guys sorry i am just stumbling today 35 reduces to an eight which is infinity this is about you know the loyal heart staying loyal forever 
I think you'll find that again if you're not in this currently, like if you're not in a relationship that you're happy in, obviously, you will find that person again. Scorpios always do. You guys are relationship style people, at least most of you are. So orphan, somebody could have felt very much left out in the cold or reminded of that if there was a sense of abandonment in childhood, which is a deep wound that needs to be healed. With a change in the wind, there could be a shift for you guys as far as your home. So I feel like there's a lot of movement in your life right now, but there's a need for balance too. So get that mind, body, and spirit that reduces to a three, get it balanced because some changes are happening for sure. To the sea, a part of you might want to run away is what I feel like with this card. If you've been dealing with all of this just recently. All that glitters. Sometimes all that glitters is not gold, right? So I think that's a part of the realization that you're having. There's a lot of sevens here. We have seven, seven, um, the five and the two and these two cards, seven. A lot of seven energy around you, which is a very spiritual number. Um, finding balance and trusting that spirit's got gotcha you and that you're going to get through whatever this difficult situation is. I have so much love for you guys. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you for being here. All your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. Um, if you'd like a personal, that's in the description box. I hope you guys have a great week. Uh, muster up some energy to get through this. This is a tough one, but you've got it. All right, guys. Take care. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you soon.